Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. Today, I had some time, so I thought, well, let's go out and uh, put the camper on the back of the truck. Let's find out how much this, this F-350 is gonna squat with this heavy camper on there. I really don't know, so let's put it on, check it out. The biggest reason that uh, we went ahead and bought the F-350 is so we can get the camper on and off the truck in the garage, so, which we weren't able to do that with our flatbed on the ram just because it was so tall so and we are limited by the, the height of our garage ceiling right so uh so now that we can get it in here i'm super excited about that so i can actually drive my truck around instead of having to leave the camper on the truck in the garage all the time so i thought well i got some time let's go ahead and put the camper on the back of the truck and find out how much it squats so we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, i did it briefly when we put the camper in obviously it's in the garage but I didn't really measure it and you know get a close look. So let's uh, we're gonna measure it, get a close look at it. Right now we're gonna kind of do this in reverse because I have the super stop uh, bump stop extensions that I had on my Ram. I kept those and I temporarily put them on the Ford just to kind of see you know how they fit and that sort of thing. They kind of work, but I'm gonna end up putting the uh, upper stable loads from Torque Lift on there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put the camper on there with those on there and then I'm going to remove them Put the factory rubber bump stops back in and then find out what it truly is uh, What's going to happen, you know with that 350 with this much weight 54 5500 pounds on the back of the truck You know basically straight out of the box. So we're going to find out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Go get the truck. We're going to load it up and uh, I'm still getting used to loading with the Ford um, I've only done it, I think, three times with the Ford. It actually is a little bit easier with the Ford because uh, the, the bed is actually square, or I mean, it's rectangle. The measurements are equal from the front to the back versus the Ram. The Ram actually at the back was narrower than it was at the front of the bed. So you had to really pay attention because you can't uh, just follow the, the line of the bed as being uh, in line with the camper because it's not square, so. Anyhow, I'm looking forward to it being a little bit easier with that, but here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Let's go get the truck and back it under. One thing I'm gonna do before I put the camper all the way on the truck is I'm gonna go ahead and take the cord and plug it into the plug uh, for the Lance plug because they have a proprietary plug instead of just a standard uh, seven way plug. So I'm gonna go, I put that on about a week ago. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, make sure all the lights work and uh, hopefully they all do, fingers crossed. And then I'll go ahead and put the camper all the way on the truck. All right, I'm gonna crank the truck up and check the lights. Well, that's great news, all the lights work, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Basically, I took that wiring harness off my RAM and I installed it on this one, so. Now that it works, let's go ahead and uh, keep on putting the truck underneath the camper and load it up and see what happens. Okay, so the truck is at regular ride height right now, so it's a little bit of rake on the bed. So let's measure a couple things here. Let's measure from the ground to the, to the top of the bed. In the back, looks like it's about 57 and a half inches. From the ground to the front, it's about 56 inches in the front. So, okay, let's go ahead and measure the wheel oil. 42 
and a quarter, quarter two and a quarter to the bottom edge of the fender. So let's go ahead and drop the camper and see how much it spots. So let me show you what I got going on here. I temporarily have those uh, bump stops from the uh, super stops on there that are for a Ram, not for a Ford. So I'm definitely not gonna keep them on there just due to safety reasons. And I'm looking forward to actually trying out the stable loads. So, uh, but we're gonna lower the camper down on the truck. Let's see how it does. And uh, let's go ahead and get some measurements and we'll put it on the truck with the super stops. And then we'll put it back on the truck with the, uh, just the, the regular factory rubber bump stops. Let's take a look at the springs. Well, I'm sure those super stops are definitely helping. but it's still squatted over three inches. Okay, that's it. All the legs are off the ground. Let's measure the fender. Check that out. What was it 42 and a quarter, I believe? So now we're at 38 and 5 eighths. So that's quite a bit. That's, you know, a little over, uh, not quite three and a half inches. Okay, now let's measure the front and back of the bed again. Fifty-two and three quarters, and fifty-three and a half. I don't remember what the original numbers were, but I have to look back and check them. Okay, I got the super stops off, as you can see here. Got them off all the way around, and put the factory. Rubber bump stops back on, just the real thin rubber pads. They're only about a half inch thick. So there's a lot of room for, for the bed to drop down onto those overload springs. You got a good four inches it looks like. So let's go ahead and drop the camper and see what happens. With the camper on the truck, you can see one of the lowest points is the staircase. It hangs down the back. So right now it's pretty low. Uh, when I put the stable loads on, hopefully that'll raise the, the truck up and the camper up another, you know, couple inches or so. Like I said, I am going to remove these, so those will come off, and then and then the bottom of, of the leg will come all the way up. But but uh, the bottom of the steps is going to be the lowest point, so I'll have to look out for that. But Hopefully with the stable loads, the camper will come up and the truck will come up and it'll be a little bit more level and, it, and it'll work just fine. Okay, so the camper's on the back of the truck with it on the factory rubber bump stops. Let's measure it and see where we're at. 38 inches. So honestly, it only squatted about 5 eighths of an inch more than it did with the super stops on. Uh, because they weren't really super thick, uh, although I could have put the extra spacer in there, but uh, so I'm really looking forward to putting the stable loads on, and because uh, I think they'll be just the right thickness to help it make contact with those overload springs a little bit sooner, and then to uh, be able to help the, the truck kind of ride level. So let's go ahead and weigh the or measure the front and the back. The back is. 51 and three quarters, and the front is 53. So, not too much different. I mean, it, it would definitely be usable as it is without really doing much, but I think the stable loads, when I put those in there, it's going to give it like just the right uh, ride height. So, I'm looking forward to putting those in. So, so there's the new Ford with the Lance on there, 1172. It is on the factory rubber bump stops. There is a little bit of a rake. You can see the front end's kind of high there and the back is squatting a little bit. So uh, when we get the stable load, it's gonna level it out and be just right, I think. So that's pretty interesting. Now we know, uh, you know what a factory Ford F-350 is gonna look like with 
you know, over 5,000 pounds on, on the bed of the truck. So it's really not that bad. I mean, it squatted once it hit the overload springs, they only went down just a little bit. Uh, so, you know, those springs are awfully strong. So uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. So I am going to take the extensions off my uh, happy jack legs now that I can uh, get it in the garage and I don't need I don't need them anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and take those off while it's on the truck and uh, so that'll uh, take off a little bit of weight because they are kind of heavy uh, they're steel so anyhow just for a fun just afternoon video thought I'd check it, check it out see what happens to the truck with the camper on it looking forward to putting on the frame mounts and going camping so appreciate you hanging around watching the video and we'll see you next time on Runaway Rose. Bye-bye.